self-care is a very generalized term mm -hmm. um, and it's become a very popular term. Um, I think the th the ideas around self-care um, differ based on generations. So um, I'll get my patients who come in who are in their 20s and for them, Botox and filler, um, these types of treatments, uh, they equate them to getting, you know, manicure, getting their hair done. Um, they they put it right in there with with getting going to a Pilates class or a yoga class. It's part of their self-care uh, routine. They enjoy the effects of it. They um, like to look good and feel good. Whereas patients who are a little bit older, uh, 50s and 60s, there's a lot of guilt that's associated with um, having these types of procedures done. A lot of uh, shame, a lot of guilt, a lot of um, should I be taking care of myself? Should I uh, do something nice for myself? Are my friends going to notice? Um, um, you know, what will my husband say? Um, and so it's very, it's just very interesting hearing how people feel about treatments because you're offering the exact same treatment to two different people, but the way that they internalize it and make that decision is very, very different.